watching Tell me who's watching Who's watching me What we're going to do first is we're going to take back the 9th Congressional District. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to be Bob Turner. So what I'm going to do now is first I want to thank our great state Republican Chairman Ed Cox for joining us on this bus tour of Queens and, and Brooklyn today. And I'm going to turn it over to Chairman Cox. Thank you, Chairman Aiden. I thank you for all the good work you've done. Here in Brooklyn, I gotta tell you, you got a great, you got a great chairman here in Brooklyn. Let's give him a hand for all the good work he's done. Now look, New York's in bad shape. We're facing the next elected governor is going to face a 15 billion dollar deficit. The last four state budgets, each one of them, this, these are the Spitzer, Patterson budgets, Silver budgets, every one of them. Raise spending, raise taxes, raise fees on people who can't afford it any longer because we're the highest tax state in the United States. We can't take it any longer and the Democrats control everything in Albany. That's why we need to elect a Republican majority in the Senate and Senator Golden is going to be a part of that Republican majority come November 2nd. We're going to elect a Republican majority in the state Senate. Yeah. And we also need to elect more assembly folks, more Republican assembly folks to the to the uh, to the assembly, so the Republican minority can uphold the governor's veto and can have a say in who the next speaker is going to be, because then they can assure the next speaker is not going to be Shelley Silver. Hey. We need to assure that he's not, not the next speaker. And we have with us here. We need, on the national level, we need to take back the House of Representatives. We need to have a Republican majority. At the moment, the Democrats control everything in Washington. What have they done? The next budget is, has a $1.5 trillion deficit. And what have they, what have all the Democrats in Washington done? They've done nothing but add more government programs. A trillion dollar stimulus bill that does passes a trillion dollar debt onto our tr children and grandchildren and does nothing but stimulate the friends of President Obama. That's all it does. And take a look at card check or cap and trade that's driving jobs out of New York State and out of, out of America. It's time to end one party rule in Washington and we're going to get control of the House of Representatives by electing to Congress, Congressman such as Bob Turner who's here. Oh, yeah. and, and we're going to elect Michael Grimm also to Congress, and we're going to have two new congressmen. Hey, you're all next. right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. Give a nice round of applause for We have a federal uh, government that's broken. It's broken in almost every way. Our economy is stalled. We have the wrong mindset on a war on terror. We have an employment rate that is supposed to be 9.5 percent, but is probably closer to 14 or 15 percent. We have a stalled business economy. Everything we are doing is going in the wrong direction. We are taxing when we should be cutting taxes. We are stimulating in wasteful political uh, nonsense to promote the re-election of the uh, powers that be instead of, of correcting the problem through tax credits, research and development grants, and other things that would really stimulate the business. We are wrong-headed in everything they're doing in Washington. I hope to fix it and correct it. With your help, we will. We're starting today. We have four more weeks to get this job done. Let's do it. Thank you. Now I want to introduce a great elected official, a great friend of our community, and he will work hand in hand with Bob Turner and our other uh, elected officials this year once we take victories back in November. Let's give a nice round of applause to our great state senator, Marty Golden. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Leader Fox. Thank you, our future congressman from the 9th District here that's about to take it away from Anthony Weiner. That's a damage to a Republican that we can do what's right for the people in this district. He's not only a vet and a fighter, a man that's fought for us in this great country, but's here today fighting in the streets. 
and our communities here in Brooklyn and Queens to give us back our freedom, to give us back our liberty, and to give us back a direction that we don't presently have. This state and this country are in trouble. And you know what? It's people like Bob Turner, the guy that grew up in our communities, worked in our communities, has raised a family, five children in our community, has 11 grandchildren, a person that has a real investment in our community, and that understands what Anthony Weiner and what the Democratic Conference has done in Washington, D.C. They've not only added to the 12 trillion in debt, but I understand Anthony Weiner says he wrote the health care bill. Well, <laughs> guess what? He wrote it, he owns it, well, he should keep it. Ladies and gentlemen, we need somebody to go to Washington that's going to rewrite it and give us back the freedom that we need. And that's going to be Bob Turner. I don't know what people are thinking, but when I stand in a room with a bunch of seniors and I look at those seniors and I talk to them, and I hear about this new health care bill where we're taking $750 billion out of Medicare. That's coming out of our seniors. That's coming out of my children and my children's children. That's money that they could use. And you know what? Those seniors, they're puzzled. They say, I don't understand it. Cash for clunkers, stimulus, new health care program, but they couldn't give me a hundred dollars in a cost of living so I could pay my rent or my telephone bill or my Con Edison bill or put food on my table. No. That's what a senior, that's why they're puzzled and they're worried about their children. Their children being able to pay their mortgages, pay their rents, and their children are worried about their children and what schools they're going to send to them and how they're going to bring up those children and what dollars are going to be there available for them to get a good education. We need somebody that has a sound track on economic development and how you can create jobs, how you put people back to work, how you keep small business a part of the great American system. And at the same time, have a foreign policy that makes sense. A foreign policy that we know that will work for the future of this great nation. And we are better to have it than a former veteran from the, United, from the United States Army that knew and knows how to fight for the people of this great district. Ladies and gentlemen, I can go on and on about Bob Turner. But Bob Turner, ladies and gentlemen, is what we need to turn this nation around. This nation has turned. It has pivoted, ladies and gentlemen. It is not the nation that we once knew. And our children will never have the ability to know the nation that we knew unless we bring it back. We've got to turn this nation back to its axis. And there's only one way of doing that, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just electing Bob Turner, but it's getting out our sons, our daughters, getting out our families, our friends, and our communities, and getting them out November 2nd, and getting this nation back on track. Ladies and gentlemen, my endorsement goes to Bob Turner, because he's the man that can do it, and he's the man I put my confidence in, inviting this nation. Bob Turner for Congress, and that's the way it should be, ladies and gentlemen. Just an average man with an average life. I work from nine to five. Hey, hell, I pay the price. All I want is to be left alone in my average home. But why do I always feel like I'm in the twilight zone?